After what feels like an eternity, the 3.4 patch notes have been posted, showcasing new cards, balance changes, and a new skin line to Legends of Frontera. For this patch we're getting three new spells to help with the balance changes. The first one, Rocket Barrage, gives Piltover and Son more AoE tools to help against aggro decks. Celestial Wonder gives Targon an option to slow down multiple attackers to help reach the late game. And finally, Desert Duel gives Shurima more offensive options to play during the defense turn. Before we get into the balance changes, the patch mentions two specific cards that will be targeted at a later date. Yurtles in Arms was not considered due to the patch planning schedule, but the developers will keep an eye out for this card. And the Bandle Tree will receive changes in the 3.6 patch set for April 27th. Now let's talk about which cards are being buffed. Aphelios himself is not getting buffed, but the Gift from Beyond and Moon Weapons now cost 2 mana and Crescendum now summons a random 2 cost follower from your regions. Azir can now level up when you summon 13 or more units or landmarks. Victor's Hex Core upgrade now costs 0. Lil Dipper now has 1 extra attack point. Dunhopper Mech now has 1 extra attack point. Trumpeteker now has 1 extra attack point. Salty Spinner now has 1 extra health point, and Fury Hearn Crasher also has 1 extra health point. Paddlestar's damage has increased from 4 to 5. Quicksand now lets you choose if you want to give minus 4 attack to an enemy or minus 2 to 2 enemies this round. She Who Wanders now obliterates all units with 4 or less power in hand and in play. Yes, this means she obliterates champions too. Sheriff Lariette Rose, her attack and health have been increased by 1 point each. King Jarvan III now has 2 extra attack points. Tattered Banner's effect is no longer consumed by units that already have Challenger. Sacred Protector now has a new effect. When played, gives an ally Barrier. Sigil of Malice cost has been lowered from 4 to 3. Calculated Creation now gives plus 1 plus 1 to the cards it creates. Cards that planted Flashbomb Traps in the top 10 cards in the deck now plant them in the top 8 cards. This affects Caitlyn, Stink Officer, Advanced Intel, Justice Rider, Half Womp, Peel Tower Peacemaker, and the Path of Champions items and powers. Careful Preparations cost has been lowered from 3 to 2, and Camphor, the Doubt, has its attack and health increased by 1 point each, and now gets Overwhelm, Spell Shield, and Challenger when summoned if you've targeted allies in 4 different rounds. Now let's talk about the nerfs. Nar and Meganar's attack has been lowered by 1. Pantheon's attack in both his level 1 and level 2 has also been lowered by 1. This also applies to Pike, who gets his attack lowered by 1 point. Rumble now levels up when he has seen allied Mecha Yordles deal 12 or more damage. Sherzai Dunebreaker now has 1 less health point. Twisted Catalyzer now has 1 less attack point. Vanguard Sergeant now has 1 less health point. Conchologist also gets his health reduced by 1. Loping Telescope's cost has increased from 2 to 3, also has 1 extra health point. Sharp Sight now gives plus 1 plus 2 instead of plus 2 plus 2. And finally, Twin Disciplines now gives plus 2 attack instead of plus 3. This patch also introduces UX updates. The Nexus Health previsualization now lets you see exactly how much damage you are dealing, receiving, or healing before it is too late. And Unit Destruction previsualization will now let units show a crack when they're facing lethal damage. This patch also introduces the Infernal skins and cosmetics. We're getting Infernal Shen, his level 1, level up animation, they are under my protection. and level 2. Infernal Cannon with his level 1, level 2, and new effects for Mark of the Storm. Infernal Pantheon is level 1, level 2, Infernal Galios level 1, and level 2, and the final skin Infernal Swains level 1 and level 2. We're also getting the Magma Chamber finally in a Riot game, as a new board. And the Infernal Poro, Infernal Gloomtooth, and Infernal Silverwing are our three new guardians. We're also getting the Ritual of Flames card deck. These cosmetics will be distributed in three bundles. 
The Infernal Remnants Bundle includes the Magma Chamber Board, Ritual of Flames card bag, Infernal Gloom Tooth Guardian, and Infernal Silver Ring Guardian. The Fire Akin Bundle includes all the skins Infernal Shen, Infernal Cannon, Infernal Galio, Infernal Pantheon, and Infernal Swain, alongside champion cards for the mentioned champions. The final bundle is the Unbreakable Shields deck bundle. It includes a Shen Galio deck, Infernal Shen, and Infernal Galio. We currently don't have the prices for the existing bundles. In other news, the loading screen for encounters in the Path of Champions has been updated. These bugs were fixed. And if you want to get every card in Legends of Frontera for free, check out this guide for beginners. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for everything Runeterra.